Southeast Asia IPR SME Help Desk, the impact of the Help Desk to expand business to the regions. Welcome to the Southeast Asia IPR SME Help Desk in Vietnam. From here, the Help Desk principal purpose is to advise European small and medium-sized enterprises in 10 countries in the region on intellectual property and related issues. Due to its dynamic economic development and its market potential, many European companies consider Vietnam as a good hub and a starting point for doing business in the region to later expand their business activities to the regions and neighboring countries like Thailand and Cambodia. The Help Desk raises awareness about IPR matters in the region affecting European SMEs and helps them make informed IPR decisions. The countries the Help Desk is operating in populates more than 620 million inhabitants. The population is considered as rather young and dynamic. Potential workforce is among the highest worldwide. One of the individual SMEs that sought advice from the Help is Ubiquest, a very innovative company whose founder is a French entrepreneur. He has been awarded the French Entrepreneur's Prize in 2016. Our company is Ubiquest. Uh, we've been uh, running in Vietnam for one year and we are specialized in organizing life-size urban gaming. So we use the urban environment and we organize tours and uh, corporate activities in Ho Chi Minh City. One good thing with the IPR help desk is that you can talk to local experts who can give you specific advice for each destination. The legislation is always very blurry for, to me. But uh, when we're talking about Thailand or Cambodia, it's, uh, it's really useful to, to be able to talk to someone firsthand who has an experience about the country because each country has a different legislation, even talking about the same uh, problematics. So um, yeah, that, that, that's one, uh, one of the good points of having the local experts. We were searching for information about protecting our logo, which are quite original, and our brand name as well as some other brands that we developed, protect them in the local market in Vietnam and as well in Cambodia and maybe other countries. I believe the lawyer will be uh, unavoidable to, to make the things happen, really, I mean, in a proper way and make sure that it happens. But before you select the lawyer, before you know what you should uh, be doing to protect your brand or, or whatever the question is, it's always important to have free of charge objective and free of charge uh, uh, advice because for someone who is not a lawyer it will be hard to, to decide uh, what is true, what is, uh, what is uh, legal and what you should do. So getting advice instead of service is, uh, is very important. We are also offering license franchise to local partners here to develop our concept in their own cities. So getting all this information about protecting our brand and uh, what can we do in Vietnam, what are the, the way to enforce the brand protection in Vietnam and in other countries is really important for us. If you are a European small and medium sized enterprise, have good business ideas, wanting to have objective advice how to protect your intellectual property and related issues, please feel free to consult us in any of the 10 Southeast Asian countries Brunei is the largest net exporter of oil liquids in the Asia-Pacific region. Crude oil and natural gas production account for 60% of the Sultanate's national income and 90% of exports. Cambodia, the ASEAN's country with the most constant growth. Cambodia has grown at a yearly average growth rate of 7.7% for two decades now. It places Cambodia among the Olympians of growth with fast and resilient growth. Indonesia, the Asian's largest population. Indonesia has a population of 248 million, the fourth largest in the world and Asian's largest. The archipelago of 17,508 islands combined with a land area of 1.8 million square kilometers attracts the largest share of intra-Asian foreign direct investment inflows. Laos, the Asian's rich source of natural resources. Laos is well known for its rich natural resources including timber, agricultural land, hydropower and minerals. 
Malaysia. Malaysia has ASEAN's largest local currency bond market and is the largest issuer of Islamic bonds. Malaysia attracts about 10% of ASEAN's total FDI inflows, a share that has been relatively stable over the last decade. Myanmar, the ASEAN's country with strategic location. Myanmar has an advantageous location at the intersection and hub of East Asia, South Asia and Southeast Asian countries. Specifically, it is between China and India. Philippines, the ASEAN's largest household spender. The Philippines has the largest proportion of private consumption to GDP in Asia, with household spending accounting for 67% of GDP. Services exports rose 241% between 2005 and 2011, the largest gain in Asia thanks to strong performance in business processing outsourcing. Singapore. Singapore is ASEAN's wealthiest member, with per capita income of 36,900 compared with 5,100 for the rest of Asia, excluding Myanmar, and 7,900 worldwide. The city-state is home to Asia's largest financial center, number three worldwide, and it is a strategically located shipping hub with the second largest container port in the world. Thailand, the ASEAN's automotive hub, exporting almost 2.5 million vehicles in 2013, the ninth largest shipment volume in the world. Vietnam, the ASEAN's newest country to finalize FTA negotiation with EU. FTA negotiations between the EU and Vietnam were concluded in 2015 and cover tariff as well as non-tariff barriers to trade and other trade-related aspects. Vietnam's assets also include low poverty rate and good infrastructure. Southeast Asia IPR SME Help Desk the impact of the help desk to expand business to the regions.